Dad's Nuts and welcome to Dad's Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the Unicorn Super True Blue and this is the 24 gram version. You can also get them in 22 gram and 26 gram and they're 90% tungsten dart and retail for £54.95. So let's check them out. So the darts come in this uh, fairly chunky box and it's got an outer cardboard sleeve and inside is a hard uh, cardboard tray and it's got a dense foam insert holding the contents so with the darts you've got a aluminium point protector and you've got um, some gripper 4 stems and the super true um, blue flights so the darts are fitted with a silver point and it's a little difficult to describe the shape it's uh, kind of a tapered but it looks as if it tapers a little bit there um, almost feels like it's a scallop there it's a little bit difficult for me to tell uh, feels like it is a bit indented there though feels quite comfortable there so I'm pretty sure it's a scallop just a very gentle one if it is and it's quite a nice uh, sleek shape there's a little bit of grip on the front taper there I'd say that's around about medium and then you've got these little like uh, indents cut there but I think that's more for sure can't really feel them but that section is smooth and then as you get to the rear you've got this kind of a shark style grip so it's probably around about high medium there but I have a feeling it's probably going to be a nice one for middle and rear grippers kind of fits nicely into the fingers there then you've got your short gripper four stems and the super true flights which are 90 degree molded flights That's fit with a 28mm silver point. There's a smooth section at the front of 4.8mm, then you've got a kind of standard ring grip of 6.5mm, and then a slightly mix of uh, rings and grooves and a ring with a pronounced lip on it, that's 4.9mm, and then you've got this mostly smooth section except for the notches and circular indents at the front, that's 15.5mm, and then as you get onto the rear, you've got this kind of a shark style grip with the flat edges that's 6.8 millimeters and then a, a ring of 3 millimeters then you've got another section of shark grip of 7 millimeters and then a smooth section at the end of 2.3 millimeters the length is 50.8 millimeters and the width is 6.9 millimeters grams. 24.21 grams 24.23 grams and the full setup is 25.73 with nothing attached the balance is pretty much in the center and with the supplied setup it moves slightly behind the center point and this is the balance of medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights
little bit of spin, but uh, mostly quite smooth. But it's only got a short setup as it comes. Uh, so I'll try the middle section now. I'm mostly on the smooth part, just a little bit on the uh, ring grip. But it feels more comfortable gripping here. Nice and comfortable there, and it's flying a bit smoother, I think. I think it probably just depends on exactly where you're going to grip. If you're mostly on the smooth section, then obviously you haven't got any grip there. But I'm getting just enough off the rings at the top. So it might be a nice one for middle and rear grippers. So I'm going to try fully on the rear now. So I'm on the, uh, it's kind of a flat edged sharp grip. Still fairly comfortable there because it's got a kind of a slight curve to the shape. But I think it's a little bit more comfortable at the middle. I'm getting a little bit more spin now because I'm on that grip. But should be a nice one for middle and rear grippers like I said. So that's the Unicorn Super True 24 gram darts. Um, I don't mind uh, it from the front where I was gripping there. There's a fair bit of grip there and that little um, wide ring with the lip on it acts like a nice dating point. Um, I think the only problem is, is the fact that it's on the taper and sometimes I miscue it a little bit. But I would say it's probably a dart mostly for middle and rear grippers because it feels nice and comfortable from the middle and quite comfortable from the rear and wasn't flying too bad for me from the rear so it should be pretty good for natural rear grippers. But it sits into the fingers nicely there. Um, obviously it's got that smooth section so if you're fully on that then it just depends on whether you need grip or not. But I was kind of half on the smooth and half on the ring grip and uh, flying very smooth from there so definitely I would say for middle and rear grippers but some front grippers might be happy with it um, I'm just going to play with them a little bit more just to see how I get on um, but it, is, it feels a little bit more grippy at that front than I first thought but I'll see how I get on with them so that's the end of the review thanks for watching